Hey everyone, my name is Julia Chow and these are 25 facts about me. Fact number one. I don't know about you guys, but ever since I was little, I really didn't enjoy taking photos. In fact, I would always cry in all my photos. And the only way to stop me from crying is, uh, like, the only way my parents could stop me from crying is bribing me with candy. Um, once they gave me the candy, uh, I was pretty much happy, good to go. Um, I'll send Tommy some pictures right here. You can probably see some pictures of me and a push pop and be like this. Which leads me to fact number two. Uh, because my parents bribed me with candy, I had pretty terrible teeth, you can say. Uh, my front two teeth were absolutely crooked. I had one that was going in the front and I had one that was going in the back. And then everything else was just like all snaggy and like all out of place. So my mom decided to uh, let me get some braces in middle school and braces they were great. I mean, they helped me get these nice straight teeth. It was a very painful process. Painful and tickly, and it was kind of ticklish. Fact number three. Ever since I was little, I was missing four teeth, which made it very convenient for the dentist to actually put braces on me because they didn't have to pull any teeth out. And they tell me now that I don't have my wisdom teeth coming at all as well. So that means I'm missing four more, which is a total of eight teeth. Maybe I'm a mutant, I don't know. Fact number four. The first swimming technique I've ever used was the doggy paddle. So I was in elementary school and I didn't know how to swim. Me and my sister were riding bicycles around our swimming pool. Now mind you, my sister already knew how to ride a bike. I was the one that had training wheels. So we're riding around the pool and then I just get stuck right here with the training wheel to the side of the pool and I start freaking out and I'm like, uh, Emily, can you like help me out? And like she was right in front of me and she was like, yeah, don't worry, Julia, I'll save you. And she bikes all the way around the pool just to like help me from behind. I don't, I don't know why she did that, but because she did that, I already fell into the pool with the bike and it just started floating inside the water. And I'm like, dude, am I gonna die? Like, is this the end of my life? And I'm like, all right, okay, I'll doggy paddle. So I start doggy paddling up to the surface, and then I realized that I did not doggy paddle with the bike up, so I'm like, oh, damn it. Doggy paddle back down, pick up the bike, doggy paddling back up. And I was so close to the surface, but I was so tired, and I didn't have any more air left that I just dropped the bike and just swam up to the surface and just crawled out of the pool. And as soon as I crawled out of the pool, my sister, my sister was like, don't worry, Julia, I'll save you. And she jumps off the diving board and into the pool. And I'm like, thanks, Emily. I already saved myself. Fact number five. Ever since I was little, my mom has always cut my hair. And when I was younger, my mom always liked to have me in short hair. So she always trimmed my hair short, especially the bowl cut. I guess all Asians are pretty similar in that aspect. But because my mom always cut my hair short, a lot of people mistook me for a boy. And I remember I snapped one time in kindergarten when one of my classmates was like, are you sure you're not a boy? And I just snapped and I just grabbed him by the throat and be like, say that again, am I a boy or am I a girl? He was just like, you're a girl, you're a girl. And I'm like, good, I am. And he was just like, okay. The boy that I choked in kindergarten, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it, I just kind of snapped because I was tired of being called a boy. Which leads me to fact number six. I've always wore my hair up in a ponytail up until my sophomore, junior year of high school. I like literally just wore my hair in a ponytail. Like even when I slept, when I woke up, like anything, every day, it was just a ponytail. I don't know, for some reason in high school, I think I was dared to like have my hair down and I just kept it down since then. Um, and when I went into college, I cut my hair up to a bob and donated 19 inches of it to Lots of Love. Which you guys should do because it's a really great thing to donate your hair for cancer patients. Fact number seven. The first thing I notice on a person is their hair over anything else. Like I don't see how their body looks like, I don't even see how their face is. It's just the hair. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's like a beautiful thing. Oh my God. Like, guys. 
You guys that have like beautiful, nice, luscious waves or curls, I don't know what it is, but it's just it's just a beautiful thing. You guys should not suppress any of that stuff. But but besides that point, I feel that a, like a person's hair really projects the person's personality. And like you know, like if you ever you have like messy hair, or you have like tangled hair, you know, like maybe you don't care as much. You know, or if you actually take care of your hair and you comb it and you style it, you know, maybe you're more organized or maybe you just have more of a better fashion sense. But either way, I think hair is very fascinating, beautiful, and I just like looking at people's hair. Fact number eight. I have problems reading social cues. For one, um, I remember I was in high school and my brother was kind of on his first date with his now girlfriend of four or five years. <laughs> I remember that day because I was getting ready for winter formal and I was just painting my nails and I remember they were in the living room watching The Notebook. Now, young Julia didn't think of anything. She just thought that it was just two people watching a movie. Nothing like a date or so. I mean, I mean, even though it was like the first time he brought her over to watch a movie, which, you know, I still didn't get that social cue, but I basically cock blocked their date and I am forever sorry that I did. But at the same time, I didn't because that movie was kind of weird. Fact number nine. One of my favorite, 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 favorite patterns and designs of all time is stripes. I don't know what it is, but it's just so fascinating. Like, it's just like lines. They're lines that can just create some sort of design. Like, like, okay.